all right so welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be taking you through a series that i call entry series entry series now a whole lot of traders the issue for them is not to um, detect the market direction but it's actually to trade now in this four part series which obviously this is the first one i'll be giving you some conferences that i trade with now here is a fact okay the only thing that works is work so i'll be doing my best to give you a couple of models or entries your task is to back test your task is to look out for these things in your own chart read time and make it your knowledge so this is obviously the first out of four series in these videos so let's get on with the first one now please note the entry models i'll be talking about in this series are mostly continuations they are mostly continuations um trade so that means i am assuming you already have your market bias i am assuming you already have a direction the market should go to now if you don't yet know how to get your bias correctly or your market direction to predict the next possible move of price action we have a video in this um, channel i will leave a link for it i will recommend you start from that video it gives you a clear understanding of market direction using simple market structure and the algo market structure in fact everything has to be built on that knowledge so whether you are trading from the weekly the monthly or the daily time frame to get your bias or you are doing from the one hour the four hour because you are a day trader or a scalper respectively it doesn't matter just you need to have your market direction clearly right so the first thing after you have known your direction in fact i've simplified my trading to this and just bear with me a little bit to first of all having known that your psyche has to be worked on which we'll talk about at the end of this series the next thing you want to know is to understand your bias or market direction then the final thing is to trade your bias trade the bias so this is actually the three simple step of becoming a profitable trader obviously there are more than just meet the eyes but i have been able to distill trading to these simple steps understand the psychology what's all about which we'll talk about in subsequent videos know your direction of the market which is bias and then finally trade the bias the easiest way to get out of the market the easiest way to lose a whole lot of equity so much is to trade opposite the bias all right that's important so let's get on with the first entry model again i am believing you already have a sense of direction with respect to market bias so the first one is what i refer to or what ict will refer to as the breaker block entry model so the first one we're dealing with today is the breaker the breaker block entry model permit me to use em for entry model now what a breaker block in my opinion this is actually the easiest entry model that you can use to make a whole lot of money from the financial market so what is or how can you identify the breaker block and how can you trade with this simple model now first thing first breaker blocks i in my own understanding to make it very simple it's actually a failed other block so a breaker block you can take that down your breaker block all right it's equals field other block so the big question is what then is an other block simply put other blocks is or they are candle or candles that sponsors big moves in the market by big moves i mean they are candles that leads to expansion of price and usually they lead to a break of market structure so other blocks are candle or candles so they can be one or several that leads to a break of market structure they sponsor big moves in the market now usually price should return back to an other block and bounce back in the direction of the other block 
So what that would mean is that price should return back to that area which we call an order block. Let's say this is an order block, for example. All right, let's say that is an order block. For there are two types of order blocks. The, the reason we are talking about order blocks is because for you to understand the breaker block entry model, you must understand what other blocks are. Do you understand? So, other blocks, for example, we have two types, the bearish other blocks and the bullish other block. Now, the name of the bearish or the bullish does not really matter, but it's important for you to know, all right? Because the bearish other block is actually a bullish candle that sponsors a bearish move. So the name of the other block is given or so given because of the move it sponsors. Do you understand that? So a candle that sponsors a bearish movement is a bearish other block. And that would mean most likely almost all the time it is a bull candle. So the last bull candle as it were or up close candle that sponsored a downward movement which breaks market structure, you call that a bearish order block. The opposite is true for the bullish order block. The bullish order block would be a candle that sponsored a bullish movement. Most likely it is the last down close candle or bearish candle. So the way other blocks are supposed to de are designed to operate is that once they sponsor the move that break market structure in their respective direction, price, let's say for example, a bearish order block this way. So you have the bearish order block and then price sponsored movement that way. Usually, price should return back to that other block, in this case a bearish order block, and pick up the remaining of the orders and then go lower. This is the typical movement of other blocks. In this case, a bearish order block. Of course, for bullish order block, it would be the same. So, a sponsored price movement to the upside. Now, ideally, price should return back to it and fill it again and complete. So, the idea is more or less like the banks, the institutional traders, they have a lot of orders in the order block and their price moves impossibly from once they are formed or created. Do you get that now? And now, most likely, if, for example, they are injecting a million dollars, which is usually more, into the market from that other block, the retail traders get in once they start seeing that move. Usually, forex or trading is a zero sum. This video is getting so long. It's a zero sum um, um, business. So, if a million dollar sell is in the market, there should be a million dollar buy in the market as well. So, the algorithm wants to match orders. So, usually, because there are no much liquidity like that of institutional, institutional traders price will have to return back induced traders that is now buying all the way back to that other block to fill in the remaining orders and then price will continue so this is just the analysis or the analogy behind other blocks based on my own understanding from um of course back testing and all of those good stuff now once an order block fails to perform this function and what is the function for example the other block has been formed now price should return back to it and go lower in this bearish scenario but instead, price breaks above it. It breaks above it with an aplomb. It breaks with velocity. All right? Now, what would that mean? That other block that has failed will now become a breaker block. So, price will now use that failed other block as a, like a springboard to continue in the newfound direction. Do you understand? So, it is akin to what we call your support broken turn resistance or your resistance broken turn support and i like this entry model a lot because it's so easy to detect now I'll give you a couple of checklists on how to trade that this works in any time frame if you can detect it you just put your limit orders where you see the breaker block put your stop loss below the breaker block range and you are good to go no lot of moving parts here now the key is that the order block gets Failed. It is failed and then the manner with which price breaks the other block is with aggression. Is with aggression. And once that happens, the candle, the last candle right here, which is supposed to be your other block, becomes your breaker block. You expect price to come back to it and extend in the new in the newfound direction. Of course, the, 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 the other side is correct in the bearish market, right? So you have that other block price oh i've done that before oh you have your other block this way that should send price higher 
price comes, break it with so much velocity, all you have to do, maybe you might have taken a loss in this trade because you expect the other block to hold. All you have to do is to extend that other block ahead of time, which is now your breaker block, and expect price to run back to it. And you are selling in this case without much, you don't need much confirmation, just sell because you're already there and then expect price to go. So I'm going to take a couple of examples and we will end the video. So here is the first example for what we are talking about. All right, this is GBP USD, the four hour time frame. Now you can do this in any time frame of your choice. So I'm going to take these out. I just marked them out so um, you can actually see what we are talking about. Now in this first example right here, I'm not going to waste time in this um, example. Now, let me give you a hint. Now when you see that you have weeks in the supposedly other block area, now you are not to mark out the entire range as your breaker block you can just take out only the week because if i go to smaller time frame this week area would actually uh, if i go to one hour time frame you actually see this will be an hidden breaker block right there this week this rejection in the four hour will actually be a couple of red and green and black candle to cancel out themselves right and so i will just mark out the last green candle as my other block so i don't need to go all the way to the downside i don't know if you understand that so but that's just a tip for you when you see the breaker block in the um in the week format just mark out the weeks and leave out the body now first things first we talked about the failed other block which is a breaker so why or how is this an other block that failed look at it clearly after this down close candle price did this and rallied lower and in this example it took out market structure so that qualifies to be our other block but you see price now many times it may never take out bos very obviously but you see even without taking this downside bos it already did something right here so it still qualifies so because some examples may not really show us clearly bos taking but what is very what must be present at all time is that there will be a very powerful or velocity movement that will break the other block so you see after this whatever price rallied to the upside and took out that other block so in this case it failed to send price lower so that is your breaker block so once that failed what and then one of the things the checklist we have said first of all another block will be formed which failed to hold second which is more important is that there will be velocity if the candles that breaks this other block is just a couple of small little, little candles you will not say that is a breaker block you are going to see from other examples that the velocity or the manner with which price breaks that is high all right and that is so important to take note so once that occurs once that occurs the next thing you want to do is to mark out your breaker block which i have told you in this example you mark out just the week all right and extend in time expect price to return back to that and you are buying in this particular example, you could have made um, um, immediate, uh, you could have made money just trading this return. Look at the first return to the breaker block right there. It returned. So you could have started buying from there. All right. Sometimes I can come all the way to the midpoint of the range. We'll talk about that going forward, not in this um, first class. And then look at what happened. It rallied up. You could have taken profits from that high, that high right there. And you are good. But in this case, they were so generous enough to return back again to this breaker block. But this time, this is where I actually want to get in because there was liquidity at the low. We'll talk about that. And then took it into the breaker block and look at what we are having at the moment. Beautiful trade. By the way, we did take out this trade as at the time of um, the recording. So this is example one. Let's get to three, two other examples and we'll wrap up the video. So that is the breaker block. Now I'm doing from the four hour time frame, but you can also do from any time frame. Look at another example. Now, one of the things you want to take note of again is that we are doing continuation, right? Continuation form of trade. Now look at this area that was marked. Let me let me um, take it out so you can probably see it more clearly. So I'm going to mark it out again. So what can you see? What can you see? There was, look at that green candle right there. That is a bearish other block sponsored this move lower. Of course, it took out something here, POS. Now, in this example, it did not come and take out the entire low here. That's what I was trying to say. 
it may not have to do that stuff all you want to see is that there was another block formed right there that sponsored all of this move then price came back and broke past the other block like it wasn't there so once it breaks past the other block all you have to do is to now mark that other block so i'm going to mark the high of it extend it in time and you know we talk about the week which can also be but then we have the entire range of this candle all right mark it in time so and expect what do we now expect that is our breaker block entry we expect all right price filled in that other block breaks it with an aplomb we expect price to return back to that high of the other block we are buying in this example that previous high can be your take profits area so this is just the simple pattern or analogy you can actually keep in your mind as we wrap this video up so you can see exactly what price did it, this wasn't very clean it came to the breaker block all of the entire range and then no matter how long it took notice it not come lower so why some traders will be waiting for price to return to this other block and you're going to miss a lot of trade you see another block that down close count is another block price will not come back here and move you know why because the damage has been done so this movement upward has done the damage so they're not going to come all the way to the bottom if you are waiting for this to get tagged so you can start buying you wait in vain so you just mark at the breaker block price comes there just like this pattern you see right there so two more examples i will put this video down all right let's i already marked a couple of ones that followed consecutively and this is where i'm going to wrap it so i have about four examples right here now you can see i don't need to explain for that because they all follow the same pattern first things first you notice another block next thing you notice it failed and the way it failed matters a lot it failed with velocity so the first one right there that was a bearish a bullish order block it should send price higher once price returned but what happened price got there and closed past it with velocity so what do you expect you mark it out in time and expect price to return back to it and you see price came back to that range and sold off the following the second one just beneath it the same model can you detect it you can pause this video and look at these examples i marked and look at another block price rallied up and broke it there must be that velocity break and then you expect price to pull back to it so why people will be waiting for price to come back there for them to start selling you already know we are trading off the breaker block and then you are in this example you are selling from that return look at the final one here this price came back to it all right and sold off and on and on so i'm going to stop here i want you to back test this and you're going to fall in love with this model you can do this in any time frame once you see powerful velocity in line with uh, a bias it might be a reverser because most of the times it's a reverser but you use this to catch the continuation of the reverser all right so back test this look for the velocity checklist is notify an order block then note a very powerful velocity break of that other block extend the other block and simply wait for price to return back to that area and buy or sell accordingly i hope you find this video helpful please do where to subscribe to this channel so when i drop the other part entries of entering this entry series you'll be the first to be notified once they are dropped in the channel i'll see you in the next one i'm signing out Jay